Hi, this is Wendy Stum with StreetPainting.tv, and we're at Festival Bellavia in Monterey, Mexico. And right now we're going to have a look at the Qualificati uh, Street Painter section. Um, these are people that have, um, they're in the middle section, they've already passed and won the Semplice area, and now they're in the Qualificati area. And what they are competing for is the top winner gets to move to Maestro, which is the highest category. Um, so right now we're watching um, Margarita work on her street painting. She's doing a beautiful picture of a, a man and a, a child. And she's getting some really nice uh, detail and textures in there with her um, shadows and her shading and using lots of different chalks and blending them together. This is a detail of the piece that uh, Ruben is doing. Um, it's a detail of some fabric and some food and drink at the bottom. And that's a section of the, the picture that he's doing for his street painting. So a lot of artists will blow up a part of the, their piece and um, make it larger and use that as a reference material so they can get really high resolution detail and see what they're supposed to be drawing. This is a piece that Joel Vincente Flores uh, Queros is working on, and um, he's got, I think, five figures in his piece, and he's got uh, one of them finished and almost the second one done, and you can see that he has reference materials also for uh, each figure, so he can see what colors to put in and where the shadowing and the shading are and where the highlights go. Now we're watching um, a street painter, her name is Cynthia. She's uh, working on her street painting and you can see she has the majority of the face done. The face is usually the hardest area so street painters often start with doing the face first so they can put the most amount of time into that. Um, then she's got some fabric and uh, his hands to do um, but a lot of the background of it is uh, very dark so she can put as much or as little detail into that background area really as she needs to. This street painter's name is um, Roberto Carlos Trevino Rodriguez, and he is working on um, his street painting. I think it may be a photo that he took. Um, he's got his face all sketched out uh, with the brown chalk, and now he's starting at the top and uh, working down and filling it in. Um, other than doing faces first, a lot of street painters will stop start at the top of their piece and. Uh, work down because that way you don't have to step back on your street painting. Once the top is done and you just keep working down, you can keep moving down with it. This is a street painting by Carlos Cardenas and Cristina Sandor, and it's a very complicated piece that they're doing. I don't know if you can see the reference material, but there are tons of figures in this. Um, so what they did first was they did a grid. You can see kind of the blue lines in the background, and they made a pretty tight grid um, because there's so much going on in their piece. They wanted to make sure that they had um, a reference for every little area of it. So the grid helps them draw out. They have their original piece gridded, and that's what they match with the grid on the, on the asphalt, and that will help them um, draw out their piece. Now, after they had the grid, they took kind of an orange-yellow chalk and drew where all the figures are going to go. So once all of that is in place, and I think that took most of yesterday to do, um, now they're filling in the color. They've got a couple figures done in the background. I think it's looking really good. Um, this is a very ambitious piece to do so many figures uh, in a two and a half day time frame. The next street painting is by uh, Wandres um, Vera Leal and uh, Marisol. And um, Wandres is over here working on, uh, on sketching out some things in the corner. He has a lot of the middle area open where the figures are, and he's working on the, the background area first. I think he's getting some 
lines and um, basic shapes down so Marisol can fill in color in the background area. Wandres has got a very styly hat on, which is uh, pretty helpful for this kind of weather. Um, the umbrellas really help. They're really necessary because it's like 90 degrees. It's very, very hot here. And uh, you definitely need a little protection to, to um, keep your eyes in focus. The next three painting we're looking at is by Valentino Salas and uh, Gerardo Salas. And I believe they are brothers. Um, so they're working on this piece together. And uh, I can't see too much of the piece that they're working on right now. Hola, como estas? Um, but they're starting at the top of their piece also and working down. You'll see that different street painters all have different styles um, of how they work. A lot of people will work on faces first or maybe start at the top um, or work from the outside in. However, really is easiest and sometimes that changes depending on what image they're doing. These artists, um, most of them are doing uh, reproductions. I think one or two are doing original designs in this area. The next street painting we're looking at is by um, Alba Rosa Amascua Contreras, and she does have someone helping her, but just not right now. So she's doing the majority of the piece, I believe, herself. Um, she's doing a Bougereau piece, uh, and Bougereau is known for his beautiful women in his pieces. They're always very um, feminine and very pretty. So she's working on the face now. She had her grid and her uh, area um, drawn out first, and now she's coloring it in um, the main figure, which is the woman. And uh, you can see she's getting a lot of detail in there with um, lots of different colors that she's using. She's got uh, several different colors in the hair, some nice highlights and lowlights. Now she's working on the skin around the mouth. And you know what she does is uh, uses the chalk to have broader strokes and then you go back in with your hand and use that to blend to get some smoothness in the piece. She's got um, all the chalks that she needs really for the skin tone uh, in a little tray right by her so you know they're easy for her to get to and um, she'll use most of those colors uh, all mixed together you know for the tones of the face. Okay, now we're looking at a street painting by street painter David Gonzalez Gomez, and he is doing um, a street painting uh, titled Zapata. Um, you can see that, uh, I don't actually know if he used a grid, he might have freehand his piece, I don't see any grid lines, but he does have the, the blue lines, um, he might have actually done a template, I'm not sure, but he does have the blue lines to show him where he should be putting in his color. And uh, he's, he's got a lot of his done so far. He has the face done, um, which is, as I said, usually the hardest part. And uh, he's working on the sombrero and some of the, the clothing um, on the figure. What he'll probably do last then is go back and do the background and fill that in.